I feel like every time I sit down to, to film a video, I can't talk for like three takes. I just fumble over my words and then I can't stop talking. Hey guys, and welcome to my October favorites. I don't even know where October went, but it is gone. Where'd you go, October? Why are you over with? I'm gonna jump right in and share some of my favorites from the month of October with you. In this past month, I think my favorite products that I have been using, I say products because they go together, um, but number one would be the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. I really think the serum makes a huge difference and the moisturizer helps too. I have noticed my skin is smoother, there's less dry patches. I feel like my skin has changed greatly. So these are definitely a win. I can't say enough good things about this. Honestly, I will definitely repurchase this again. Another thing that I've really been loving, loving since I purchased it about a month and a half ago or so, I'm not sure, but I've had it for a little while, so I've been able to try it out. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer in Fair. This is a super heavy duty concealer. And it's just so you can see kind of how, like it's got coverage and it blends out really nicely. It's awesome. It's just perfect. I'm. Super stoked on this. It is my favorite concealer that I have ever tried. Ever. I've tried a lot of concealers. What I have been setting it with instead of using a normal powder is the Bare Minerals Original uh, Foundation. In Fair as well. Fair and Fair. And what's nice about this is it has a bit of a luminosity to it. So it's not going to be a super flat, matte, dry face. When you have dry skin, you don't want that. But if you have oily skin, you always want the matte face. I swear it's how it goes. But it just comes in this. And I've just been using the Real Technique setting brush to apply it under my eyes. This is awesome for the people with dry skin that need to set their makeup. Everyone needs to really set that no matter how dry their face is. That will help keep it on and set it, but won't be super matte. Like I said, it's super dry and cakey looking. Because when I use regular powder, I just look like a cake face. I feel like I have fallen back in love with the Velveteens this month, especially the red velvet. I've been wearing a lot of Suede Berry last time I put it in my favorites but I don't know the red velvet velveteens it's very bold this is not normal for me but I'm rocking it you know just gotta do what you gotta do rock that red book girl mm -hmm. I can't say enough good things about this either velveteens if you aren't familiar with what velveteens are they are from lime crime and it is a liquid lipstick that goes on like a lip gloss and dries matte. And what's awesome about this is once you have it on, it's not really going anywhere, like barely anything. And I have been pairing that with just this uh, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Sedona Red. It's a pretty good match, it works for me. No complaints. Plus, if you're putting this over anything, it's not moving. Good stuff. I know that I have put the original Sephora, you know, 12 hour long lasting liner in my videos. And that's still my number one. It goes on better than anything, better than this one. I hated this one at first because the wand is different. It's plastic and it's sharp and it's not smushy. Smushy, yeah, that's a technical term like the other one is and the formula can be a little streaky but it stays put the other one stays put but if you your eyes tear up you could end up with a big old black mess I don't this one amazing if you're really looking for a liner that's not gonna budge if you have watery eyes a liquid liner that is not going to move the waterproof version of the Sephora eyeliner, the way to go. Butter London Nail Polish in Lamas. This came in my Ipsy bag? 
Ipsy bag last month. And at first I was like, it's a little dark. I mean, it's really good for fall. I'll make it work. Maybe I'll try it out. And I'm actually really liking it. I can't find my top coat since I moved. My top coat just like ran away. I need to just go buy another one or sort through the Makeup Madness. I'm still not sorted in here. One day. This will all be sorted and the makeup will be where it's supposed to be. I don't know. Not yet. Anyway. I bet if it had a top coat it would stay on way better. It does start to wear on the tips of your nails. But it's still a really pretty color and I mean it was an ipsy so I can't really complain. Um, this thing I'm just going to kind of include in my favorites because I get a lot of questions about how I get my hair so big. It's kind of poof. It's not as big as it should be given I get, did my hair at like 7.30 this morning and it is 10.30. So it's been a long time but it's still got that poof. Powder Play by Big Sexy Hair. This is a mini version. I got this at Ulta in the clearance a little while ago for three bucks. Three bucks. I think a full size is around 13. It's a little bigger than this. I don't know the exact ounces. I don't have it on me. I think I'm down to my little ones. If you want big hair, I suggest you start with this. Given a lot of the big sexy hair products are awesome, this is my number one. This is my number one hair product altogether. If I could have one hair product for the rest of my life, this would be it. Pumpkin Cupcake by Bath & Body Works. Oh, am I a real beauty guru now? Beauty vlogger? Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I need some sleep. I'm sorry. Anyway, smells amazing. If you can get your hands on this candle before it's gone, do it. That is all of my favorites. I feel like there wasn't that many, but my love for them this month was through the roof. So I think that I balance this. And thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.